Hello, I'm Mike Thomas with LW Scientific. This video will cover mounting cameras onto the I-4 trinocular microscope. Locate the prism slider rod that's in the box, and it will be, be installed into the head. The right side of the head, there's a hole, and this threaded rod, you can find the little threaded hole there and start screwing it into place. Once it's tight, then you can pull the rod. And what's happening is the prism that's to the left inside the head is now moving to the center. So I will pull it out. Now the prism's in the center and light will be coming up to the camera. If it's over here, the camera will be in the darkness. So pull it out and you'll have light to your camera. You can leave this out all the time that you're using the microscope. If you're using your camera, just leave that rod out. Next in the box, you'll find your trinocular pipe. It's the black C-mount trinocular pipe that has a 0.5 focusable lens on the inside. And it looks like this. This threading on the top is called a C-mount threading. And all microscope cameras will have a C-mount threading on the face of the camera. So that is how you mount the camera onto the trinocular pipe. Once it's threaded onto the pipe, this will just drop right into the top of the microscope and tighten it up. And just make sure your camera is oriented straight towards the front. So why do we have a 0.5 lens inside this trinocular pipe? Um, it is nice that you can focus it. That's one thing, we'll cover that in a moment. Um, but it's all about field of view on your screen. So cameras have sensors and they're all different size sensors. Most of our cameras are anywhere from a half inch down to a third inch size, the sensor that you see right there. Um, and inside here is a lens. So what we're trying to do is project an image onto a sensor. So if this were a 1x pipe, the image would project, let's say this size, onto a sensor that's this size. And that's kind of like a cookie cutter. You're cutting out a, the middle third of the view that you see. So what if we could take this image that we're projecting with a half inch well, a half X lens will tighten up that image. So now we have an image this big on a sensor that's this big. Um, so now you're getting most of the field of view that you would see through your eyepieces. So it's important to have a 0.5 lens just to get the best field of view on your computer screen. Um, not all of our scopes have the 0.5 lens in here. Uh, but the i4 is set up nicely to match up for most all of our cameras. If you did have a one inch sensor, a much bigger sensor in a camera, you would use a 1x pipe. So, um, and we have those, but right now we're, we're matching it up nicely with a half x lens. Also in the box, when you removed your trinocular pipe, you would have found the Allen wrench. It's a three millimeter Allen wrench that is used to focus your trinocular pipe. Um, the idea is to have the camera image on the screen parfocal with the image you see through the eyepieces. So to do that process, you'll first focus on something. Put a slide on your microscope. I always say go to the 40X, the one that's the higher magnification that you might spend a lot of time on. It's a little more critical at those tight magnifications under the 40. Find something on your slide that's very distinct. One cell, um, focus on it here. Make sure your diopters are set correct. That means zero to the dot. So if you get your Diopter correct, find something in focus. That means focus with your microscope. Get it clear here. The next thing you'll do is look at your camera screen and it may be a little bit blurry on the camera screen. So you will then take your Allen wrench, put it into this lock here and just loosen it. Now it's unlocked. Now, as I'm watching the camera screen, I can turn my focus to where it matches. And I may look again look at my screen, and once I get it to match, I can then lock it back down, and you won't have to touch that again. It should be just right from now on. Following these steps will ensure that you have the best possible images from your camera on the i4 microscope. Thank you for watching.